Saturday morning here. Happy Star Wars Day. Uh, you may want to get a good meal in before you head out, and so that's why we have our buddy Mark Quinones from the Inn and Spa. Uh, or the Luminati, actually, I should say. Yeah. The Inn Spa, Loretto. I always get the two confused. That's the same. So, uh, anyway, Mark, tell us what we are making today. You said this is a pretty popular appetizer. Yeah, it's a huge dish for us. It's a uh, burnt sharp pork belly mm -hmm. with an Anasazi bean ragu, okay. um, sweet corn, mm -hmm. and a harissa sherry reduction. Okay. And so, what are we working with in terms <clears throat> of the ingredients over here? Walk us through this. It's well, we have, our, we have our yellow corn, mm -hmm. our reduction of uh, harissa and uh, sherry, mm -hmm. uh, microgreens, Anasazi beans, little parsley, and our pork belly, which we've braised and we've fried it, and now we're just going to glaze it. You're going to glaze it, okay? Yeah. So let's get started on that. So uh, the reduction, walk us through a little bit again how you make a reduction. So what we'll do is um, we'll braise the pork belly in um, harissa, sherry, duck sauce, some aromatics, mm -hmm. and after that happens, we'll pull the pork belly out, mm -hmm. and the pork belly, when you buy it, it's like it's like this big. Okay. Right and after you cook it, it, it gets down to like this big. No kidding. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So it's like a six-hour process. It gets starting out really, really big. Uh, we know we break it down, mm -hmm. pull the belly out of the braising jus, and then we reduce that mm -hmm. by about three times. Then we strain it, mm -hmm. so it gets that fine sheen. Wow. So okay. Each time you reduce it, it gets a lot thicker. That is a process. Yeah. All right. So now this has already been fried up here. So now we're just putting it in. To, so now to just do the glaze, do you heat this up really hot or is this just like a low simmer? What I put it like on a medium at? heat to be honest with you, Chad. Okay. Medium heat and just kind of turn them around and glaze them. Uh huh. Um, because you don't want to scorch it. Okay. Because there is, um, you know, duck sauce in there and, right. and um, the pepper paste of the harissa. You know, it will, it, it can get too overly concentrated. Okay. And uh, we, we don't want that to happen with the, the pork belly. Right. Okay. So for the most part, the pork belly is done cooking at this right. point, right? We're just kind of. Putting the the literally the glaze on at the end. Right. Okay. So you just you just glaze it, and then I like cutting it into cubes. Okay. I think it looks really. Okay. Uh, so I was going to ask, is that a flavor or is that an aesthetic choice? It's an aesthetic choice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and you can have a bigger piece, mm -hmm. but being that pork belly is so rich, mm -hmm. um, I don't think anybody wants to have a huge sure. like big old bite of. This is going to be too much. Exactly. To okay. Exactly. So now while you're doing this here, I know that you guys are, you are going to be open for dinner on Christmas Eve. Is that right? Is this going to be on the menu on Christmas Eve? Um, this is actually available as an appetizer. As an appetizer. Um, but we do have a special um, four course pre fee menu. Okay. Um, that we're, we're doing pheasant, we're doing a Moroccan braised beef short rib. Mm -hmm. uh, just a really fantastic uh, um, offering for Christmas Eve. Okay. So now, uh, are, are we taking reservations? Is this something on the day that we can just walk in, or do you really recommend those reservations? I really recommend recommendations. We're almost sold out. Uh -huh. um, I think right now we're really pushing towards the earlier seatings. Okay. Um, but yeah, come on up to the Loretto, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. come up earlier, go to the spa first, and uh, See, get, a, get a nice treatment, That's and smart. then. Come to Luminaria for, uh, yeah. for dinner. That's right. That's right. Now, in terms of uh, if we have out of town guests, are rooms still available during the holidays or are you guys pretty full? Um, we do have rooms available. Okay. Um, again, not a whole lot of them. So I certainly recommend getting a room now if you want to stay with us for, you know, that night or a couple nights. Right. Um, and again, it's a really festive environment. We have live music in our mm -hmm. living room lounge. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a beautiful location, so close to downtown yeah, Santa Fe. Yeah, it's, it's a block away from the square. It's great, yeah. Yeah, it's stunning property. Now, one thing I want to say before we get out really quick, January 17th, we get, we get used to seeing you here on Tucasa Style, but we're going to see you on a, on a national TV show, national cooking show, is that right? Yes. What are we going to see you on that? I'm going to be on a Cutthroat Kitchen on the Food Network on a Sunday, January 17th. Now, I know you can't divulge any of the details <laughs> about the, the outcome, but I got to ask you: Was it? Is, are, are we harder to work with than they are, or is this? Like, this is a breeze. You come in, you're like, oh, it's my buddies. It's Chad and Brittany and Chris. Yeah, this, this is a complete walk in the park compared to having to, to, to deal with the whole production crew and and go through all that. But really, it was a, a life-altering experience, yeah. and I can't wait for America to watch how it all goes down. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're glad that you're back here. We're glad that you're cooking, and we can't wait to see you January 17th again. Mark your calendars, my man, on Cutthroat Kitchen on the Food Network. Go up to the Inn and Spot, Loretto, go to yes. Luminaria, get some of this guy's food, enjoy the spa. For more information, head over to casa.com. We're going to dive into this when we come back. Stay with us, folks. That is a work of art, my friend. Thank you.